Yeah, so for all those that had FOMO, don't worry, I got you, because I got all of the news for the stuff that happened at TwitchCon, both good and bad. Let's go take a look at what happened with TwitchCon. An official recap. A first up chat, this were the official gifts given out at TwitchCon San Diego. The community gifts included a plastic TwitchCon bag, two joystick covers, and an acne cleanse sample. I, I think they're saying that we're all sweaty gamers. What a odd TwitchCon gift. But anyway, that was this year's that gift, of course, for the community gifts here. They also had, of course, Lord the debut of Lord Grass. That is right. So Lord's Grass Challenge is the Cure's Destiny follow the quest. Lord Grass was walking around the event the entire time, making you touch grass. That is right. Lord Grass Chat, the Lord of all that is touching grass. I'm be real, I kind of like Lord Grass. I kind of like that. I like the design and everything. It's really funny. So, sitting so with a big part of TwitchCon this year, of course, was uh, Lord Grass walking around everywhere. So, uh, really, really fucking funny. I love that. In other news as well, guys, we did have this Satyam Slam. And as you guys remember, grand finals were going on at TwitchCon. However, unfortunately, a lot of the qualifiers that were VTubers were not able to make it because it was the in-person event. But chat, I got some great news. The Kuno actually showed up for TwitchCon in finals in a Donkey Bird outfit to represent Donkey Bird. And he had all of his Donkey stuff on. I love that so much. It's so funny. Don't keep tuning up. I didn't even give him the outfit he actually got at himself. I didn't even know he was going to go full cosplay. Thank you for the nice surprise. So really, really cool here from uh, Sukuno. I absolutely love that. That's so funny. Even Sukuno, of course, feeding out himself. I am the Doki Bird. I'm the Doki Bird now. Here's a picture. <laughs> that was really, really cool. So, it's so cool to see the FGC scene and VTubers kind of come together for a really special event. I love that so much. Uh, and the best part, my favorite part, chat, of this whole event was actually Coefficient. A Coefficient making an appearance, of course, on his team side, repping big time with his big shirt, Zentreya sucks. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Zentreya sucks. I love that so much. Go, got him. Got him. Guys, we're gonna go over here to the Gamer Subs booth where they were repping an amazing statue of Cinder. Uh, Cinder tuning up. They're coming to see me at TwitchCon, right? My very own life size statue will be at the camera slip booth all weekend. Let's go take a look, guys. It looked incredible. Look how big it was. A yeah, huge, huge uh, statue, and it looked incredible. And it killed it. Uh, I'm also going to show you guys uh, some pictures with Cinder by her own statue. Taking a picture here. I can be your angel or your devil. And here is Cinder in her own cosplay by the statue. I mean, that's a huge statue chat for Cinder looking incredible as always. Very, very nice. Oh, sorry, she can be my uh, angle. Yeah, sorry. Not my angel, my angle. We also get to take a look here at a amazing collaboration here between Cinder and Buff Pup. <laughs> Tweeting out Wolf Sisters and Buff Pup repping their full-on Buff Pup fursuit. <laughs> very, very cute. Yeah, I was going to say, I saw that she wore a uh, onesie as well, but this is Buff Pup repping their Buff Pup fursuit. <laughs> the booba is real. Of course, also, Chad, don't forget here, Buff Pup tweeting out over here as well. Hey, thank you for so much for the amazing meeting greet. I'm sorry to cap the line. I was about to de-transform and we can't have that. But I mean, look at the quality of this. It looks so good. Yeah, so, so good. Taking a picture by uh, the use code pup over at the Gamer Subs booth. Yeah, it looks so good. Uh, absolutely incredible work put into that. Whoever made that, I don't know if it's Buff Pup or somebody else. Really awesome fursuit. Really, really nice. Of course, I even hear, guys, we have a picture of Numi having a lovingly big hug here with Buff Pup. Aww. <laughs> Numi and Buff Pup look so cute together. <laughs> it's so cute. I love that. I guys, I also want to take a moment and talk about uh, the uh, actual booth for uh, Gamersubs, which was designed by Freem. That is right, Freem tuning out. So proud to see you design the Gamersubs Twitchcom booth. If you haven't already stopped by, be sure to check it out. I'm so honored to work alongside such amazing co-workers, creators, and artists. Guys, let's take a look here. Look at this booth. I mean, look at this. Uh, these pictures of Iron Mouse, uh, all the creators here. This is beautiful. Freem absolutely cooked. Beautiful, beautiful booth here. So a big congratulations, everybody that's part of Gamersub's booth 
absolutely awesome experience for everybody. Of course, you can also take in here with the queen, Iron Mouse herself. That's right, uh, Iron Mouse tuning up. Thank you, everybody who came to see me at TwitchCon. The line was so long, and I'm so sorry you had to wait so long. But I'm so happy I get to speak to each and every one of you. All made my day. Thank you for the incredible support and all the love. I love you all. I love her little meet and greet. They're always just so nice. Uh, Mousy also here. We got a, a picture from Sky. A uh, Sky getting to me with Iron Mousy. And guys, I'm crying. I really like my new model. And Cinder told Shin not to give up. I met my inspiration Cinder and Iron Mouse because my boyfriend Shin and his friend Haru. Thank you for letting us use your phone. I pulled a cool OP and helped me get to TwitchCon. You can see here, guys. Here is their meet and greet with Iron Mouse. And of course, Cinder as well. So cute. Absolutely incredible. Very, very nice to see. Guys, let's also go check in here with the big cutie, Lala. And it's right, our newest Twitch ambassador. Uh, here from Bug Nose as well, another Twitch ambassador. Uh, tuning out the surprises with these custom sweatshirts. Here we have Big Nose Bug and Mrs. Lala. Some of the newest Twitch ambassadors uh, with some very cute sweatshirts here. We're also here at Fear from Lala as well, tuning out. Thank you so much to everybody who stopped by the meeting greet today. In general, and who said hello throughout the day. It was such a pleasure meeting everybody so far at TwitchCon San Diego. This has been such a wonderful, surreal experience, and I'm overwhelmed with gratitude. I battle my imposter syndrome constantly, and it's been healing to see everybody and to speak with so many lovely people. Thank you for a magical day, too. Dude, Lala is f***ing gorgeous. Can, can I just say that now? Lala is gorgeous. I love her roles. Holy sh**. To put those together is so hard, chat. Like, roles are not easy to do. Lala absolutely looking gorgeous out here slaying at TwitchCon. So uh, incredible stuff, Lala. And then there's this as well, guys. I'm going to check in here with Bao, who actually was able to see the Bao Mobile. That is right, guys. The Bao Mobile was out. And somebody told her to check under the wing for a surprise, which said Ban Bao. That's right. Under the spoiler wing, it says Ban Bao <laughs> on the own Bao Mobile. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him, chat. I love that. That's so funny. And then the news as well, guys. We're going to take it here with Katie Cat. Katie Cat getting a picture by the Cinder statue as well. The Gamers Up Cinder statue is so freaking cool, dude. And of course, here is the kitty here, Katie Cat as well. Yeah, Katie looking absolutely uh, gorgeous. As always, by the Cinder statue. Let's also get take a quick look over here to the McKitty Nanners and Lord. I just met the uh, wonderful Lord and Nanners at TwitchCon. Thank you again for sending my badge and letting me get a picture. Super cute. I love uh, Nanner's cosplay. She uses this one for like everything and I love it so much. That's such a banger one. Also, I have a picture here with Toki. That is right, guys. Uh, Toki tuning up. I made a new friend at TwitchCon. Oh my goodness. <laughs> golden Retriever means Golden Retriever. That's so cute. Aw. Look at that dog. Look at those doggos. Look at them doggos. <laughs> we also got a chicken here with Cinnamon Clown. A very well-known mod for a ton of YouTubers saying, I got stepped on by Geary in cosplay. My life is complete. So there's Cinnamon Clown getting stepped on by Geary. Congratulations. Now, chat, we got to talk here for a second. Viewer discretion is advice. We got to talk about something serious, chat. Because while I was meeting, greeting, finding my own business, having a wonderful time, I was attacked by Crunchy Pickle, who tried to give me Arby's. At my meet and greet. Let's go take a look at the clip. I can't believe it. Doesn't say we can hear her. It's good to meet you too. I don't think you know who I am, but that's good. Perfect. I know exactly who I am. Uh, so I have a beautiful gift for you. And it's, uh, it's <laughs> They're using head. They're using headphones so we can't hear her. <laughs> they brought me Arby's. That's not food. That's not food, chat. Oh, she left. She left. I was like, nah, I'm I think out. she knows who you are now, Crunchy. I'm out. I can't believe you brought me Arby's. I can't believe you brought me Arby's. Such so sacrilege. Out of all the things, chat, I was just trying to live my life. And Crunchy Pickle brings me army. <laughs> Worst day ever, chat. Worst meet and greet I've ever had. Speaking of my meet and greet, chat, I do want to show you a few. Uh, people who came by, it's very sweet of them. Uh, Candice, uh, tuning out. Booba! That's right there with my uh, live 2D stand. Booba. She got it right, chat. She got it right. Uh, Candice also tuning out. She was very sweet. She said, oh my gosh, shout out to our culture. For feeding me into the Lara's meet and greet. 
so nice and she's making me hella blushy. I want the sweetest big booby elf ever and she was so sweet. It's very nice to meet her as well. Of course, uh, some other people came by to meet and greet uh, chat, and I was so excited to meet all of them. Uh, of course, uh, Jenner VT uh, coming to say hi to me. Had an amazing time yapping with Alara. We talked about Adam Ring of Monster Hunter. It was just an honor. It was very nice to meet you as well, Kitty. Thank you for coming by my meet and greet. Uh, it was very kind of you. Uh, we also had, of course, Alyssa coming by to say hi to me as well. And it's a Twitch kind of come to it for me. Been a blast meeting new people. But hopefully next year, I can have some friends join me in this fun journey. And so happy you got to meet Alara. Uh, she's so cute, is what I'll say. Thank you to everybody that came by to see me in my meet and greet. I appreciate all of you. It was so, so much fun. And thank you again, our culture, for having me. It, it was a blast. It was so nice to meet some of my uh, friends. It was nice to meet Blake. It was nice to meet Hydra. It was just an incredible, incredible experience. So thank you to everybody that came by to see me. Uh, speaking of uh, VTubers and TwitchCon, look at all of these people showing up. For TwitchCon, uh, Aruna tweeting out round one with some pretty awesome friends. Was successful. I'm so happy I hosted this and made my heart so full and happy to hang out with everybody. Have a great night. I love all my friends so much. Look at all these VTubers getting together. That is amazing. Banshee's over there. I think I saw Roy over there as well. Like, look at all these cuties getting together. BB's right there. Like, Kitties is right there as well. Very cute to see everybody get together. Yeah, absolutely awesome. As well, Chad, on top of that, I, I did want to go show you the uh, big meet and greet for VTubers, and here was the VTuber meetup. Look how big this was. That's a lot of VTubers getting together. Holy sh <laughs> That's crazy. VTubers are taking over chat, and for all the good that I've showed you, I do gotta show you a little bit of the bad. Unfortunately, guys, there's some people who are going around during the TwitchCon event, a bad actors who are coming to TwitchCon live to be a menace to farm viewers, and is a real buzzkill for some of the event, you know, people there. Kind of a buzzkill for the a weekend. But, like, yeah, you know, I roll streamers understand this, like, okay, but I do think that maybe they should kind of limit it, you know, to ambassadors or something, because it kind of gets to be too much. Unfortunately, our bad actors are just doing it to farm abuse so i really do hope that they are able to make some better rules for that in the future but chat there was a huge block party uh, going on for twitchcon so she a little bit of that twitchcon tweeting out we missed it at twitchcon san diego block party any stack you can think of twitch purple san diego buildings a karaoke uh ode to shrek an engagement and a silent disco friendly mosh pit so let's go take a look at the block party I heard some people saying like it was lame, other people saying it was better last year, so. But that is the TwitchCon Black Party chat. Now I gotta say, within TwitchCon, there were a lot of new announcements about new things going on, including new policies and procedures and all kinds of other updates. So guys, let's go take a look at that because I do want to talk about it. It's very important. And first up chat, that could, of course, I give me some clarification on Twitch launching new creator clubs. Uh, that is right, guys. So artists, makers, music, co-working, and coding, but a bigger one here, which was VTubers. That is right. There's a new creator called Pretty VTubers, which you can apply for by going to the very bottom of uh, this update and fill out the form. So, you know, I, I don't really feel like clubs are like a big deal, but it could be something positive. Chunky even pointing out to my VTuber streamers and mutual friends. I think that this is pretty cool. And Twitch just tweeted out about an hour ago, they're cutting guild for VTubers. You don't just go to the very bottom, but they are expanding those creator clubs. Uh, so last month, we successfully launched our first two creator clubs, PTs and IRL streamers, to foster connections within streamer communities. Engagement has been surpassing expectations of with over a thousand partners and village joining and more than 5,500 uh, posts on Discord. The feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. Creators appreciate the safe space to network and engage directly with Twitch staff. So they are launching one for VTubers, which is a really nice update. Hopefully we can give them more targeted feedback based on how much they have been uh, giving false warnings and bans in the community. That could be a good thing, so we'll definitely look forward to that. And obviously if you're a VTuber, go apply for it. Could be very, very positive. Now chat, this is huge news. Huge news here at TwitchCon. TwitchCon actually announcing ban clarification. What? Twitch is actually going to clarify when they ban us? That's right, chat. Um, so Twitch is introducing more clarity on suspensions, including either an excerpt in chat, if the violation occurred in chat, or where it happened in the VOD. They will say live stream, what it was, with a timestamp and a clip of what happened, chat. I can't believe it's real. Absolutely no weighing out here. 
They've successfully done the bare minimum. Congratulations. <laughs> the bare minimum is here. Uh, on top of that chat, there is a little bit more to this. Let's go take a look here. Uh, Twitch announced the band, bands on platform. Be a lot more transparent. In chat, an excerpt from the message will be sent to the user in the email. Gamers will be sent a clip so they can better understand. And of course, they can appeal that ban, uh, which is a huge, huge win here. I do want to show you a little bit more about this. So check this out, chat. Here's a clip of what is going to happen. Speaking of our community guidelines, we want our rules to be easy to follow, and we want you to be able to learn from your mistakes. We don't want you to be living in fear of getting banned for something small. So we're making Good. a few updates soon. First, we're going to be giving you more clarity about violations. So later this year, we'll begin Finally. sharing an excerpt of chat if the violation occurred in chat. And then early next year, we'll begin providing a clip of violations that happened during a live Finally. stream or VOD, so you can see exactly what happened. We're providing this information so that you can see what you did, what policies were violated, and if you feel our decision was incorrect, you can appeal. It applies to everybody, yeah. Now, it's, a, it's a whole Twitch let's get to strikes. Uh, thing series. you. As you all know, currently strikes last forever, and there is confusion on how partners and non-partners are treated. We've seen that the permanent... So I gotta say, chat, the striking system is very confusing, so they are gonna offer clarity on that with this additional update, which permanent is really nice, so take a look. Are a big, permanent strikes are a big problem for streamers who have been streaming for a long time, is they could be banned for small infractions. And we're working on a big change to our strike system, and strikes will now expire over a certain amount of time. Which is already a thing, but check this out. There's actually like a, a screen that shows the countdown and when it expires. So there's really a lot of clarity in the breakdown for if you get strict by, uh, stricken by anything. So I think this is great. I did a wonderful update. Really, uh, it also counts up to your account being banned. So this is really, really nice. Great update, really needed. I'm all about this chat. So then you can learn from your mistake and move forward from it and it's leave on. it in the past as you evolve what you do on stream. So these changes seek to improve clarity about our enforcements and reduce the risk that streamers lose their livelihood for low severity infractions, especially if they occurred a long time ago in their streaming journey. So connection That's and good. engagement are essential to building strong communities. That's true on stream, but it's also true when it comes to Twitch and our streamers. So I think the biggest thing here, chat, is, is this good? Absolutely. This is a great update. Something that we've been looking forward to for quite a while. Now, does this address the double standard? Absolutely not. No, no, no. There's still quite a double standard between IRL streamers and VTubers, but this is a good way to uh, take at least one step forward. I'm very happy about this, but again, chat, this does not address the double standard, so it's not a complete win, but, you know, it's a step forward. I'll take what I can get at this point. Again, uh, just to kind of give you more of a visual on this, um, I do like that they have this whole system. Uh, they say your account is currently suspended. They tell you why, how many days you have left. Here's all of it together. Again, this is very clear and concise. I feel like we needed this a long time ago. Uh, you know, here's an appeals portal with the guidelines, the safety center appeals process and submit feedback. It's all in one place as it should have been a long time ago. So very, very excited for this. Uh, again, I will be looking more for more clarity by, you know, Twitch when it comes to VTubers, but it's good first step. Does it exonerate them and everything? Absolutely not. In other news chat, let's talk about the new Verge chat feature, which is absolutely insane. Um, Twitch.io announced the shared chat is launching next week when multiple streamers go live together. Their chats will merge on all on one channel or all channels, I'm sorry. So like, uh, and this could come from multiple channels, First time viewer will level you in this game right now. Um, but basically they're gonna squish together all of the multiple chats if you go live together. Now chat, this seems okay. It seems cool, but I have some questions. And I'm gonna I'm gonna let Amelie speak for me on this one. Because this was my first question as well. Sounds really cool in theory, but I wonder how mods would be able to moderate. If you're squishing it together, right? Does that mean that one mod can control yours? Do they control both? How does the moderation work? I mean, guys, some some people have different systems for what they allow. Some people allow, you know, talk about certain stuff. Other people don't. I don't know how moderation is going to work when those are uh, squished together. So I think it's a really big question that we do need a lot of clarification on. But nonetheless, I mean, I think it's a nice thing to have them squished together. Just again, what's the moderation look like? So we'll be looking forward to that chat, and I will certainly let you know. But can kind of open up a can of worms more than it helps. I don't know, chat. I'll let, I'll let you know in the future on this one. Yeah, it seems kind of up in the air right now. Of course, here's a whole thread of all of the TwitchCon updates. 
Uh, of course, in the opening ceremony, there was Grass Lord uh, coming out. Uh, clip sharing got easier. They're rolling out Clip Carousel, which will highlight the best moments from your streams. And of course, that can be uh, seen on mobile and PC. And they announced a shared uh, chat. Enhanced broadcasting. I already announced this anyway, but just kind of followed up on it. An interactive way to use bits. I'm working on a new feature that lets viewers react to stream moments. A lot more fun effects. And hype up in the chat with a single chat, a uh, single tap. Like hype train, every contribution, big or small, keeps the momentum going and the fun growing. So a little bit more going on with bits here. They're launching an official YouTube channel for Twitch. There's going to be a big announcement, patch notes, etc. cetera. A strike system. We saw a little bit of that. We saw the uh, Twitch guilds as well. So all in all, some big announcements here coming from Twitch at TwitchCon. We'll certainly hope that this moves forward in a positive way, chat. I'm really hoping so. In other news, chat, unfortunately, we got to get into a little bit of the TwitchCon drama. So yeah, unfortunately, guys, uh, not everything was sunshine and rainbows at TwitchCon. And I've seen this happen quite a few times at other cons. And I feel like this is just something we need to talk about that needs to be addressed uh, in the whole of con going and first up chat i gotta tell you coming from hades here Hades tuning out i think i was drugged at the bar very unfortunate chat i know that there was some stuff uh, people were talking about the blurb like you know sky top like party that was going on but hades of course saying i think i was drugged at the bar and this is actually echoed by another talent here uh, emu also tuning out as well i was also roofied last night at the vip party i'm safe and i'm okay i had a wonderful group of friends to help me out Stay safe, gamers, and cover your dreams. Really, really sad situation, chat. Of course, Apollo tweeting out that she was able to, of course, uh, take care of Hades. And guys, she's okay right now. She's safe with me and our friends. Uh, we're fine and together. Please be careful and stay safe, everybody. Two Twitch cons in a row. And it's off guy as well, chat. People are getting drugged at these parties. It's really scary. You know, Hades going on to uh, tweet out as well. An update, I'm awake now. We don't know what happened to me last night other than I just wasn't okay. I was in no state to go to the hospital as I don't have insurance, so I didn't uh, receive any tests to see if I had something in my system. I only suspect my drink may have been spiked due to how sick and horrible and drunk I felt after only two drinks, even three to four hours after leaving that bar. I felt very wrong and overall not okay. I was in a terrible headspace and honestly should not have been uh, tweeting. And I apologize for anybody I may have worried. Thankfully, my friends took care of me, so I'm safe no matter what caused me to feel that way. Very scary chat. For anybody that's a TwitchCon goer or just a VTuber in general, guys, this is a scary, scary thing. Let's take it here with Mickey as well, who has said, the fact now I've been to two cons in a row, I'm mentioning Ofkai for VTubing where Spike Drink is an issue is incredibly disappointing. Uh, people that have absolutely no place like this in the community who do that, you know, the Spike Drinks like that have absolutely no place in the community. Uh, security also needs to step up and drink covers and tests need to be normalized. There needs to be more security. I gotta give it to a tip of my hat to Hero Factory had great security during their event. i uh, extremely grateful my friends were looked after and home nobody else was taking advantage of. Stop putting the onesies on the victim and start blaming the culprit. I agree with that. And even we have a follow-up here from Maple Chicken. Uh, Maple Chicken even saying, Twitch con to get the bad yelly. I don't think it's ever going to make sense to me that the amount of friends that suffer getting their drink spike was almost as soon was going to happen. That is disgusting. My whole community, friends and family should not have to worry constantly if I'm okay as we should be able to go and enjoy ourselves in an event without worrying that we're going to get our drinks spiked, right? I should not be in a position to not feel safe enough to drink and not that you need to, that you need it for a good time. And note that if I had accepted the pushy advances to buy me drinks that night, I would likely be in the same boat. We all need to do better. If you see something, say something. It's a team effort and it truly makes me sad. It has to be this way. That's a night of fun and it is being clouded because you have to put up your guard. Uh, despite everything, the friendships I made, the time I get to spend with the people I've known for so long online and meeting people in my community, it really just hurts our heart. I will never forget this experience and think about everybody who was so kind to me. I hope to see you all next year and that we can have a safer experience. 